Ladies and gentlemen, a very special announcement from the Booze Doctor. My fellow Americans, today I sadly inform you that the Booze Doctor will be retiring. Not only retiring from making cocktail-related videos and hopefully making you laugh and inspiring you, but also retiring from the consumption of alcoholic beverages altogether. In addition, I will be focusing on health and wellness from here on in, including launching a new YouTube channel called The Fitness Doctor. So I hope all of you will subscribe to The Fitness Doctor, where we can all share our fitness stories and tips and all grow and be healthier together. Thank you. April Fools! <laughs> Coming up. I know none of you believe that, but hey, what the heck, it's April Fool's Day. Coming up, our first new video of the year. We're gonna uh, drop one of my favorite recipes, one I created, um, so go to my YouTube channel to check it out. Booze Doctor. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of What Are The Andersons Drinking Tonight? I'm your host, Bobby A, a.k.a. The Booze Doctor, and the first thing I want to tell you is just a reminder, all new episodes beginning April 1st, we're dropping them every Thursday, and this is going to be one of them, so can't wait. Please go to the YouTube page, Booze Doctor, subscribe to our channel, let's get the word on the Booze Doctor out in the street, okay? Today, we're going to work on one of the drinks that I created by myself. Okay, a little, little history on a drink that we now call the Rumble in the Jungle. When I was in college, we used to have to bartend for fraternity parties when I was a pledge. And the two drinks that people ordered most often besides beer were bourbon and Coke and rum and pineapple juice. And I was thinking, huh, both pretty tasty. So I tried the rum and pineapple juice and I thought, eh, not a bad little drink there. Anyhow, fast forward a couple years, I'm at my first bartending job. And a lot of times we would close up on Saturday nights and some of the bartenders and the owner would stick around and have a couple drinks. And I started experimenting. I'm thinking, rum and pineapple juice, what could I put in with that? Well, I thought maybe a little coconut rum, just a splash to kind of give it that summer feel. And I thought maybe even a little splash of uh, spice rum. I think the thing that really makes the rumble in the jungle tasty is the combination of light rum like Bacardi and some dark rum. I prefer Myers, but you could go with whatever you want. And as I've always said, a lot of things in my recipes are interchangeable. So if you think you like something better than something that's in there, give it a shot. I even have an idea for something else in the Rumble and Jungle. So we're gonna go with four main rums here. We're going with light rum. We love Bacardi, the standard, Myers, a little bit of coconut rum, a little bit of spiced rum, just a splash of the pineapple rum because we have pineapple juice in there and a splash of the cream de noix, almond liqueur. Just gives it a good color, gives it a nice little nutty taste. We're gonna finish with pineapple juice and we're gonna make a drink that I think tastes like summer. Another thing about this drink, you can just increase the amount of uh, the liquid you put in there and make a great rum punch for a party you're having, okay? So let's do it. So we got our, this is gonna be a pint glass drink. This is definitely a pint glass drink. This is a sitting by the pool or on the beach somewhere drink, okay? So we're gonna go with an ounce each of Bacardi. Okay, and Myers, the two main base rums of this. Myers just has a rich, full flavor, which I think goes fantastic with a lot of different, a lot of different rum-based drinks. And if you're making a rum punch, you gotta put some Myers in it. And this trick is not for the fan of heart. There's a lot of rum in here, okay? And we're not gonna go a full ounce on the coconut rum or the spice rum because they're pretty powerful. So maybe we're gonna go half ounce. But we wanna get a little bit of that flavor there. Some people think coconut rum makes it taste like suntan lotion. I don't know, I've never drank suntan lotion, so I wouldn't know. Spice rum, give it a little, a little bit of that kick. So right now we got about three ounces of the rum in there, okay? Oops, don't wanna make a mess here. Pineapple rum, just because, why not? Well, just a splash, I'm not even gonna measure. Just a tiny splash. And then the cream de noia, again, you just need a splash because it's 
red and super, super dark. It might have been a little more than a splash. We got our pineapple juice. This is a six ounce can. That's probably about right. I don't think we can afford one more ice cube. And then secret ingredient. I used to put cranberry juice in here, but I'm, as you know, if you've been watching some of the Booze Doctor episodes, I'm a big fan of blood orange. So we got a little bit of blood orange juice. We're gonna try, it's the first time we've tried this. So we're gonna give that a shot tonight. All right. And then you gotta shake this drink. It's a good one. Shake it with the ice. Got my salty dog glass from one of the great establishments in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Nice and frothy, the Salty Dog. Uh, they do not pay me to endorse them, but I wish they would, even if they gave me a free cocktail when I'm down there. A little bit of the pink, looks tropical, feels tropical, smells tropical. We're gonna throw a blood orange on the side. And we got a cherry, and look at this, we got our umbrella. This is a tropical drink because you, what? What do we have to do? Always have to garnish your drink. So we're gonna throw in the cherry with the umbrella, make it look nice and tropical. And I'm going with a straw on this one. This is, in my opinion, a straw drink. I might even need one more piece of ice in there. Why not? Summer's almost here, folks. And these are the kind of drinks you're gonna need sitting by the pool, sitting at the beach. Maybe even uh, if you're hosting some kind of uh, tiki themed party, look at that. The rumble in the jungle. Check out the recipe. That's a fantastic drink. That's my favorite drink. Sometimes I used to get embarrassed ordering these at a, at a bar because they're pink. And uh, a bartender friend of mine came over and he would start putting these umbrellas in the drinks for me. But anyhow, who cares, right? Oh, that's fantastic. Anyhow, remember, subscribe to the Booze Doctor on YouTube, on um, Instagram. It is Booze Doctor 22. Check us out there where I usually post the pictures of the drinks and some recipes. Check us out on Facebook, the Booze Doctor. And that's all for today. Please check us out. Cheers, everybody.